Today I am super excited because number one, it is the weekend, or if it's I'm, if you're watching this and it's not the weekend, I'm sorry. That's just how it's gonna be. Um, but today is the day that I finally get to review something that I've been wanting to review for such a long time. Well, maybe like two weeks. <laughs> but yeah, so um, this first ever piece of software that I'm going to be reviewing is an application, not a college application, not an application that you're gonna be using in the future, like applying yourself. For, I mean, you can physically apply yourself wherever, but yeah, I mean like an application that's on your phone. So, um, in that app, let's go ahead and get right to it. So, a new photo editing app has just come out, and well, like come out a couple of weeks ago at this time. Um, and so I know what you're thinking, yet another photo editing app, I already have like 10 of them. And, well, I, I have four. But guess what, uh, th this new app has everything you want from an editing app. And that app is Unlight. So um, let's go ahead and go into the app. Um, just a side note, it's by the same developers as the popular Facetune app, who are actually based out of Israel, if you did not know that. Just a fun fact in case you're curious. So when you get into the app, one thing that you'll notice for the first time is that it gives you a tutorial on how to get started. Super handy if all you want to do is read it, but if you're already a photographer, which you probably are, um, because you've got this app and it's four dollars, <laughs> which um, you may just like to figure out the basics yourself. That, that's kind of what I did. The other thing that you'll notice is that all your photos are conveniently located at the bottom of the screen. No importing your photos because they're already right there for you, which is excellent because it saves your time. The developers at Lightrix are making excellent use of that extra real estate on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. I have the iPhone 6, which is what I'm using right now. However, on the iPhone 5 and 5S, it might seem a little smaller, I don't know. Unfortunately, I was not able to try it out on that device, but probably they optimized it. Um, on the right side of the screen, you'll see options for editing, and there are a whole ton of them. You have your usual adjust, clarity, and target options. Under the adjust section, there are so many options, it's crazy. I can't go over every single one, but a few of my favorites are the ink print and inverse ones. They make the picture look completely different, but still amazing at the same time. To adjust how much an image is affected by the effect, simply select the filter and slide your finger left and right on the picture. It's that simple. You can add as many filters as you want with the same degree of controllability of how strong the filter is. Next is clarity, and it provides, well, um, clarity and to your photos. And when I was testing them, much like Facetune, they even get rid of wrinkles in the face. Grandparents will love it. <laughs> While we're at it, adjusting lots of things, if you ever want to see how the changes affect the original image, you can always press and hold down this button to revert it back. Now it's time to get to the crazy fun stuff, like like really, if you're not blown away by this stuff, I don't know what will blow you away. Except maybe a tornado. Yeah, tornado. One of the features in White has that I haven't seen yet from other photo editing apps is that you can move things closer than they are in the original picture, and the background stays exactly the same. I don't have any photos that can really take advantage of that um, right now, so I haven't really tested it, but when you can see from the demo here, it's quite amazing. Going on through the menu, I'm going to skip the tools for a second, we'll come back to that. But I want to go into the artistic section, which is probably my favorite section of all the sections. And there's a lot of sections. You'll see three options here. There's painting, there's urban, and there's sketch. Painting literally turns your picture into a painting. Of course, there are tons of different types of painting styles, and that is reflected by the so many options you have to make your picture painting, your pic, your pic, your picture perfect. Once again, you can control the strength of the painting styles by sliding your finger left and right across the screen. Urban provides another artsy take on your photos, and once again, there are plenty of options for you to make your picture like a piece of art that looks like it's from the city. Cool and all, but it's personally not my type of effect. The next option down, sketch, once again, literally turns your picture into a sketch. What it does in is less than a second is truly incredible. It looks like it came straight up in a manga book, and you did it with a touch of the screen. Let's go back to tools. 
Mixer lets you easily put in and resize another picture into your main picture, just like Photoshop on the PC. Reshape lets you distort your image, twist it up a little bit, and Tilt Shift allows you to easily set the focus of your image and blur out parts you don't want. One of the other cool things you can do is freeze part of the image. Basically, it allows you to select which parts of the image that you don't want affected by an edit. This is cool for making images that you have, that have say, a black and white background, but the object in focus is in color. You can also easily draw on your image yourself, or you can add text to it, stylized to fit you. In the finalized section, you can also make a collage easily, so you can have plenty of photos in one photo, and then ship it directly to Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, when you're ready to publish it over onto that site, or wherever online, or just store it on your phone, pause. Um, most likely, if you're editing a photo, nowadays, you're probably going to be putting it on Instagram. Last thing about Instagram is that you can have the app automatically adjust the image to shape it into the box of Instagram and still retain much of the original image. One thing I noticed about the app it, uh, is that it is speedy fast at making the edits that you desire, especially have, if you have a newer iPhone. The design is perfect and really lets you edit your photos seamlessly. So now for the final verdict, because all, app, all reviews need a final verdict and this verdict is definitely a buy. If you're a photo editor, your uh, photo editing on the go has never been easier and Enlight puts all the every single um, every single piece of editing stuff that you would ever want into one application. No more having to switch between 5, 10, 20, 50,000 apps, whatever, however many apps that you use um, to be able to do the edits that you want. And Enlight is a super powerful photo editor that you should definitely buy at the four dollar price tag that it is at right now. Now I messaged uh, messaged to the developers of the software, and they said that the four dollar promotional price will be there for a couple more weeks. So if I were you, I would get it before it goes up to probably about eight dollars, and so it's half off right now. So get it right now, and you will definitely be pleased with your purchase. Anyway, um, that will do it for it today, guys, and um, thank you all so much for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!